But unfortunately, we had a tough team. One of the best teams in the league. The Phoenix Suns come to town to make it difficult for us to reach that number 10. And unfortunately, tonight, after three clutch buckets, well, two clutch buckets and a lucky mid-range shot by Chris Paul, the Knicks win streak comes to an end as the New York Knicks lose to the Phoenix Suns 118-110. to lot to be happy about, though, but I'm sure we'll get to that at some point because frustration is raining on everybody right now. Julius, Julius Randle had himself a rough night. R.J. Barrett had himself a rough night. Um, Derrick Rose played well, but you could tell he got gassed. But more importantly, Devin Booker did what he was supposed to do. And the name that is in all of my DMs, Mikel Bridges. <laughs> oh, yes, that Mikel Bridges gave our Knicks some ten. Give, 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 give us a hard night tonight. Nonetheless, the Knicks lose 118-110. But to be a little bit more positive, kind of, more, what makes me more upset is our win streak here as a trio. Our win streak, the one that we built, comes to an end tonight as well. CP knew what he was doing. He was upset about it. He didn't like not being a part of it, so he's like, you know, just in case this Suns game goes wrong, let me make sure that their little win streak goes to end too. CP, we see you, bro. We see you, bro. But yeah, New York Knicks lose 118 to 110. It's your boy. CK filling in for CP here on Knicks Fan TV, uh, presented by Manscaped with the lovely Ashley Moss to my right, and the man, the myth, the legend, Alex. No CP light tonight. You call him by his name. Guys, <laughs> tough game. Tough game. Tough tough loss. Uh, I think we all have, you know, some opinions on it. You know, good, bad, ugly, but uh, Alex, how are you feeling, man? Oh, man. You know, I really wanted this win tonight. It was tough. It was a struggle. It wasn't even a struggle. We came out really hot. We came out guns a blazing in the first mm-hmm. quarter. We were we had like a good fifteen point lead. Yes, you know, sir. come back out in the second half that we had a seven point lead. <clears throat> Everyone was just grooving. I just loved everything part of it. It was the third quarter. Like we didn't even have a true third quarter of a doom. You know, we were <laughs> we were going back and forth with, with the the Suns, and it it came out tied by the end of the quarter. It was just the fourth quarter where. We started doing the whole isolation type yeah. stuff, putting mm-hmm. up bad shots from whether it's D Rose, Julius Randle, uh, and like we just had two costly turnovers at the end. One from Reggie Bullock to RJ Barrett, mm-hmm. who could have had an easy lay, and then Derek Rose uh, just poorly pa- poorly passed the ball to Julius Randle on the last play. It was close. It came down to the wire, and then as you mentioned earlier, uh, CK. Just two lucky big shots by Chris Paul, but this is what Chris Paul does, and he does it. Got the cap to him, man. He did. He did it. He did it. But I'm not. I, I, it sucks because we lost the winning streak, not only for the Knicks on the <clears> 90 <throat> winning streak, our winning streak as I'm well. I'm saying, man, but, I'm more hurt about that one, man. <laughs> but I'm not overly upset about this game. The Knicks played really well, right. and it was really encouraging how they played well. Now, this was kind of a test to see how good we were playing the second best team in the West. And we hung in there. It was just, it came down to poor execution in the fourth quarter. And for the last couple of games, we've been doing that. But you win some and you lose some. We were on a nine-game winning streak. I'm not too worried about this. I think we'll bounce right back. Yeah, Ashley, I can see the, I can see the stank on your face. How are you feeling? <laughs> Listen, I, there's some things to be, I guess, happy about, for lack of a better word. And then there are things to be upset about. First of all, I think this was a good game because sometimes when you're in winning streaks you tend to all you know is winning right at that moment in time i think this was an interesting game for the knicks to play especially after that kind of a win streak because it showed you what a real playoff game could look like it shows you what playing a real playoff team looks like and i think this was a good lesson to learn for the knicks because you can't take your foot off the defensive pedal with these with teams that are offensively gifted and if so also defensively gifted just like the suns are this is a team that has not only a vet in CP3, but a lot of young talent. Look at Devin Booker out there just raining threes like nobody's business, especially in that second half. So this was a needed, I guess, needed loss. Obviously, I didn't want a loss. I would have preferred <laughs> to have 10 in a row, with, especially with the smack that everybody else was talking about us earlier in the day. But I think this is a good character loss for the Knicks, especially going into the postseason and as we continue the rest of the season. It's just going to go ahead and make this a lot tougher of a team. And look, the Knicks were hanging with these guys. For a, for as good as the Phoenix Suns are, number two in the West, the Knicks were giving it to them all 
game. And it, it, it's a, there's something to be said that right now we're kind of hum and drum and, and sad about the Knicks in almost May losing to a number team, number two team in the West. Like that, that's, right. you just got to put that into perspective for a second, because we're here complaining about losing to the Phoenix Suns who are number two in the West right mm -hmm. now. This is not us losing to an unranked team. This is not us losing to a team that we should have beaten. This is losing and barely losing to a really good basketball team. This is something that the Knicks need to go and take into the film room reset and go on another winning streak because obviously this team has the pieces that they need to compete you saw it during the game there were some holes like i said defensively you let your foot off the gas you can't go ahead blowing 15 point leads you yeah. definitely can't do that in the postseason the game slows down teams are only getting better this was a learning lesson for the new york knicks but to be in a position where you're complaining and you're upset about losing to a team this good i i can't a hundred percent be um, upset about it. This is a good position to be in, if you will. If you want to see some and some light on the horizon, this is a good position to be in. Yeah, hundred percent. And to add to your point, like this is not just the second best team in the West. This is the second best team in the league. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and like you mentioned, like we've we've been fighting against these teams, Philly. Brooklyn, you know, we, 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 we play against these teams and we play well against those top teams. So that's the biggest thing I, I, I'm taking away a lot, like along what you just said, you know, it is rough because, you know, we had a lot of extras that was going along with it, you know, our, our seating and our win streak and all that stuff. But the fact of the matter is, you know, we had this team in our in the corner for the entire game and like you mentioned we just took our foot off the uh the gas and then they went off you know and that's something that we need to learn to not do especially since we are playoff bound um here in a few weeks but yeah you know what to, to play that way to start off that way to maintain that much uh, up until the end of the game um against the second best team in the league i'll take that take note and we'll see them again here in a, a week or so or something like that right we're yeah. gonna see them very soon so let's the see how that works the Knicks came out hot, and I think a lot of people were apprehensive going into this game. Like you said, the Suns, second right. best team in the NBA. This could have gone really, really bad from the jump, yes. but it didn't, and that is something to be proud of. This team came out, meaning our New York Knicks came out saying, I don't really care about where you're ranked. You're in the garden. Welcome to New York. We're going to show you how it's done. Mm -hmm. They just went ahead and kind of calmed down when they shouldn't have calmed down. You can't do that in a playoff series. Mm -hmm. And I think this was just kind of the lesson that the Knicks needed to learn. And I'm okay with them learning it right now. I'm not okay with you learning it in a series. Facts. I'm okay with Facts. you learning it still in the regular season. You take this lesson, you go ahead and apply it to the rest of the season. You definitely take that into the postseason and you shake things up and you kick some ass. But I'm okay with, you know, the win streak ending in the sense that mm -hmm. it ended in a lesson learned. And mm -hmm. that's all you can ask for. So. Absolutely, and to talk and to add on about going back, looking at the film, Julius Randle getting str was struggling with the double teams in this game as well, yeah. and he didn't have most of that for the last nine games. He was just going off, having the one-on-one -on -one matchups. Sometimes they double him, but he was reading it really well. And it, going against a really good team like this, he's going to have to adapt. And this is a good game to watch the film, as you pointed out, Ashley, and to adapt your game because once you get into the playoffs. You're going to be facing competition that will be double teaming you every single game because That's they're not going right to let there. you. They're not going to let you score. They're not going to let you go 30 right. and 40 in a night. So he's going to have to adapt his game. And as you also point out, better to learn now to watch that film now than to learn during a playoff series because he's got to learn to get everyone else involved. R.J. Barrett, Nerlens Noel, Reggie Bullock. These guys are going to have to learn right now what it's like to play in a playoff series because they're going to be heavily relied on if we're going to make any type of noise once the playoffs come. Yeah, fixed. and that's a really good point. Julius Randle is not used to being double teamed at all. He's used to being able to do whatever he wants because people are afraid of him. But when you play a team that's just as good as you or better than you, they're going to double team you. They're not afraid to take you there. They're not afraid to get physical. They're not afraid to get dominant. And Julius Randle needs to know what it's like to have to have to move around that and he hasn't had to deal with that and this is when the game this is when the season really starts to change and this is where you have to take your game your competitiveness to the next level and Julius Randle learned that lesson tonight what are you going to do when you're double team you're going to fold under pressure or are you going to figure out another way to get it to get your shot up to get to drive it in the paint to force a foul be or to keep the possession moving and pass it out to the next guy keep the play alive you're not going to always have the easy shot what is your next move and this was a lesson not only for julius randall 
But this is a lesson for a lot of guys. RJ, what are you going to do when they don't let you Sorry. when they don't let you get your normal shot up? What are you going to do? How elusive are you going to get around defenders? How elusive are you going to get in the paint? The game is never going to be easy for you, especially as it, the season only gets harder, especially in a playoff series. This games only get harder. What is your plan B, C, D, E, F, G? What are you going to do? That was the lesson of today's game. Unfortunately, the Knicks failed that lesson, but it's a lesson learned. And you take this lesson, you go into the rest of the season and into the postseason. Figure out your plan B, C, D, E, F, G, because that's all you have in a playoff series if you don't want to go home. And that's what you do. Yeah, big facts. And and to uh, add on to the double team point, yeah, Julius Randle was getting t- double team today, and it was looking like in the beginning he was going to have one of those games where he was going to, you know, pick off uh, other players on his team in the double team, you know, start doing what he do what Julius has been doing the majority of the season, you know, finding open guys, uh, finding the cutters and stuff like that. And it was looking that way in the first half because the offense was just flowing. But to something Alex had said at the beginning of the show, um, when, and I feel like this is probably one of our biggest negatives of this team this year is when when our backs are against the wall a little bit and the other team starts to you know go on runs we tend to you know shell up and play one-on-one basketball and I feel like it got to that that. point and I completely agree and I feel like it got to that point in the second half where the double teams were way more effective rather than they were in the first half because Julius Randle was not looking to pass he was looking for his shot when you know because he saw that they were coming back in so like you guys said the 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 big majority is this was a lesson you know those are things that Julius Randle is going to fine-tune as we get down the line rj bear's going to fine tune as we get down the line i'm seeing people in the chat talking about rj bear was frozen out well how does he get out of that you know we've been talking about this you know you, you can't blame Alfred payton because Alfred payton didn't really play much tonight so rj barrett needs Thank to God. figure out how to get out of the, those kind of situations but um yeah we uh you know we handled i mean we did okay like another night nice shooting over 41 percent from the three you know it's all it's okay uh 51 from the field but like i said we're, we're talking about our two main guys julius randall was six for 17 35 from the field he was three for six from three which was nice but those double teams seemed to affect him a lot more in the second half than the first half rj barrett too had himself a up and down night uh he was 38 percent from the field with 17 points and we, we talked about a little bit there like you know they they need to figure it out for themselves knowing that we're gonna be seeing more more of this kind of competition mm-hmm. going forward rather than some of those other games because look in play a basketball you're gonna be gaining these kind of nights every single night so you know there's a lot of positives to take out of this i know it's frustrating because that lovely number 10 that that that, that clive frazier number 10 that we wanted so bad we didn't get it you know but we got to enjoy that nine and like ash you said start a new one starting on wednesday so i'm 100 percent with you guys on that one and but, you know what you know what ari screw you because you know what you say First of all, Ari's saying, oh, this is one. This is probably Ashley's best take, and that's not saying much. First of all, screw you, Ari. Second of all, yeah. this is your fault, <laughs> because last show, you were all up in arms and in your feelings, ready to crawl up in a ball in the corner <laughs> because you didn't know how to deal with the Knicks winning. Talking about, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I'm in my feelings. I just don't know how to deal with this. What do I do with my hands? Oh, my God. I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> Knicks are winning. Now they're Damn. losing. Do you feel better, Ari? Do you know what to do now? Are you back in your bag now, Ari? Do you feel comfortable Ari, in your you... safe space, Ari? Get out of here. Ari, Bye. you asked for this. I don't Bye. know what to tell you, man. I, look, Bye. man. <laughs> you you put yourself in that position. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is, I'm saying, this is post-game with Knicks Fan TV presented by Manscaped. Unfortunately, we are here talking about a loss, but you know what it is. We want to hear what you guys have to say, and today it's going to be Discord only, so you know the vibes go over on the Discord. Make sure that you uh, call in there, and we'll get to your guys' calls as the night goes on. How you feeling, Angel? Yo, what's going on, CK2K? What's good, Smooth? (laughs) Hey, listen, man, as far as this game, it's disappointing. You know, we were up 17 in the first half. Shout out to Peyton. You had no assist after the first quarter. You know what I'm saying? You just, you just, you know, like I know exactly what he is. He's Basuda. He's trash because it, it's just he just needs to go. Like I'm just so done with him. I get it. He plays defense, but you know, at the end, at the end of the day, you're playing against Chris Paul, Devin Booker. You know, you could play defense, but you still got to move the ball. You know, if you move the ball, mm. you make the team better. You know, so that that's one thing, but. Listen, man, we got our score of 62 to 47 in the second half. You know, we gave up over seven threes in the second half. You know, you're not going to beat Phoenix, you know, giving up that many threes. I mean, they had way too many easy baskets. They had way too many th- 
threes, you know, and granted at the end of the day, you know, they have CP three and Devin Booker. We have Alfred Payton. That just says it all right there. You know, and um Julius Randle, you know, he didn't really have it tonight. Yeah. Um I would have liked to see RJ Barrett shoot the ball more. I thought he played pretty good. And um, you know, I just want to see him be a little bit more aggressive. You know, I thought this was maybe a game, you know, he could really step up a little bit and obviously with Peyton not passing him the ball, that just doesn't help. But, you know, at the end of the day, y'all, you know, it's a nine game winning streak snapped. You know, nobody expected us to be at this point. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we start a new one against Chicago, you know, and it's one game at a time, all seventy two, you know, and um this is a learning process, you know, right. and at the end of the day, we're going to get better, you know, and and nobody right now wants to smoke. You know, granted, we lost this game. You're not going to win every game. But, you know, in the end, you, the way we're playing right now, granted, we could beat Philly. We mm -hmm. just got to do it. You know, we got to make buckets. We could beat the Bucks. You know, we can beat the Nets. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we just got to keep with that teamwork, keep passing the ball. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's just a growing process, y'all. And um, at the end of the day, you know, we'll just see how it goes. And um, thanks for taking my call, guys. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate you, Angel. As always, man, another good call there. Yeah, man, like I said, I think we we all said the same thing. You know, don't let this deter how we feel about the Knicks overall. It was just a rough night. It was a, one, of the, <laughs> one of the best teams in the league. You know, lessons to be learned, and we'll, we'll take them, move on to the next one. And, you know, we'll see how we go uh, from here on out. We got the Bulls Wednesday. Start a new streak in the words of Ashley Moss. I like that. Let's keep it going. All right, going over to none other than Papa Left. Who's going to drop us with some knowledge tonight? Papa Left, how you feeling about this loss tonight, bro? I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling it's, it's not too bad, but I want to help you guys pay some bills real quick. Of course, Talk guys, me. ladies and gentlemen, uh, playoffs is coming up, and mm. uh, you might not have been to the playoffs in a while, but this show is presented by Peyton Scaped. <laughs> you can uh, cut Peyton, you know, anytime you want, and we have an LED light for you, Thibodeau, if you're into doing it in the dark, you can... Cut him in the dark. Uh, if you want to make it a group activity, Ashley has an idea. You can use Steve Mills, Scott Perry, and Leon Rose can get all together and <laughs> cut him together. So make sure you know, enter the fan code. We all keep Peyton and uh, Nick's Fan TV and uh, get your Peyton scaped. <laughs> all right. Um, with that said. No, uh, no, no. What's the promo code, bro? What you mean? You just going to you, We need a promo code. The promo code is we hate Peyton. Yo, we need it, man. Oh, I didn't hear it. Oh, I didn't hear it. My fault. My uh, fault. Nah, all right. So uh, everybody was out of pocket with Docs and his family. That's, that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, I think too that's far. a little too far. Way too far. Um, But I, I said in the Discord, if like he decided one day that he wanted to go save oh, the endangered elephants somewhere, I would support it. You know what I'm saying? Like if he has to go make a life decision <laughs> like that, we all salute him. Um, I'm actually writing the Big 15 Knicks anthem. And I up. never hit writer's block. And I'm trying to get – I got Jared Harper bars in there. Oh, I got Norvell man. Pell bars in there. Easy. I am trying to find a way to get some Alfred Payton bars without being disrespectful because the goal is for everybody to enjoy it as a team. But it, it's, it's really frustrating. But um, as far as this loss goes, it was a nine-game winning streak. And it had to be ended on some, hi, I'm Chris Paul. I'm a first ballot Hall of Famer. Hi, how are you? That's how we lost the game. And I'm okay with that. Um, shout out to Knicks Fan TV. Shout out to Alex. Shout out to uh, CK2K. Shout out to Ashley. I'm looking at you guys in delayed on my TV, laughing at my jokes from 20 seconds ago. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Um, you guys are awesome. And uh, shout out to CP. You know, like, Knicks fan TV has become so much a part of my life and, and, and so much a part of like everybody in the chat, everybody in the discord. It was so awesome seeing Chuck D, Jay Boogie, uh, you know, hoodies vintage on, on, on Instagram. It's so fun seeing you guys there and I'm with you guys in spirit. I listened to Dick Barnett's interview on the way to work, the five C's. Uh, the the dream paradigm that was awesome and like it's leaking into my life like I'm on I'm on interviews with my jobs and I'm like 
all right, so what makes you qualified? And I'm like, all right, here we go. <laughs> and I'm with my girl. I'm with my girl. And she's like, all right, what you got? And I'm like, all right, here we go. And that's literally my life. Oh, love, bro. That's that's great. I'm sure we will let CP know. I'm sure he's going to see this already. But as always, we appreciate the call. And Have some fives in the chat. I'm guys. saying, man, probably he does not disappoint, man. <laughs> Man, I saw one of the promo codes saying ASAP. Y'all so wrong for that, bro. Peyton's <laughs> gay promo code ASAP. ASAP. He wow. said it could someone be. A said, good. Someone said promo code. You don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell up out of here. Yo, that's too much to write, bro. <laughs> Wait, that man, bro. Wait, Elvis. That's too much to write. But no, I, I was saying, man. But yo, he lost me when he was talking about it could be a group event. <laughs> he said, "Get Scott Perry, get Leon." Did you Rosenthal. see Ari in the chat? He said, "Are we doing this in Grand Central Station?" <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Zip zap zoom. <laughs> Make sure if you guys are catching your train to work from work, oh, wherever you're going God. in Grand Central, check all the bathrooms if you have to use one because I'm pretty sure Ari's going to be in one of them <laughs> doing some things from this point forward. <laughs> okay? Make down. sure you double map. Check under the stall. Oh. You don't see any... Because if you catch Ari in there, it's it might be a situation. It might be. 